That's right, folks. And by the way, that is not SpaceX. In fact, my next guest is becoming an absolute legend among individual investors. In many ways, he reminds me of Alex Karp of Palantir just a few years ago. Uh, and here's just one post that gets, says it all. Peter Becker is a boop legend. During the LC3 grand opening countdown, water suddenly started gushing from the launch pad. You just saw that. Feels like a response to the short report from a few months ago claiming that Rocket Lab's Neutron would be delayed due to water shortages. I want to bring in our Rocket Lab founder, CEO, Peter Beck. Peter, my man, and you got the sunglasses on. Look at that. <laughs> I, hey, so, Charles, how's it going? It's going great, but you're doing a lot better. I get to tell you. So your last earnings report came out. And I was, I just, just social media, I can't believe how many people love your company. They love you. Uh, they talk about the Neutron being the greatest medium launch vehicle ever flown. You have built up a huge, huge following. Explain how you pulled this off. Well, we're, we're tremendously lucky, but honestly, we're just head down doing our jobs. Um, and, you know, at Rocket Lab, it's all about execution. And um, as long as you execute, everything else follows. So, uh, you know, the team's working super hard. and and uh, we're just getting stuff done. Yeah, but it's also about vision, right? I read that you were in the U.S., you went back to Australia, you had this epiphany. I think one of your seed investors was named Rocket, which I thought was kind of strange, man. <laughs> but, and, and you fast forward to today, right? You got this launch complex yeah. in Virginia. Governor Yunkin was there. This is a huge deal. Yeah, no, it is. And, and you know, the opening, opening of this launch complex is sort of, the, you know, one of the last big milestones of the Neutron project. And, you know, we're going to have a rocket on the pad here shortly, and um, there's, there's going to be a, you know, a new small and medium class uh, launch vehicle in town. So it's going to be great. Talk about, about Neutron, though. Why I know your first rockets were, the, uh, I think, the Electrons. This is Neutron. Correct, yeah. What's the difference? What does yeah, it mean for you? What does it mean for, for the shareholders? Yeah, so Neutron is our medium class lift. So what that means is sort of like 13 tons or, you know, 26,000 pounds of, of lift capacity. And if you look at the kind of the medium class lift right now, it's, it's dominated by our friends over at SpaceX. So Neutron really provides an alternative to both our commercial customers and national security customers for that medium class launch. And, and of course, uh, to, to, to be clear, the launch will happen this year, by the end of this year. Yeah, we're trying super hard. Yep. I mean, uh, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a launch program at the end of the day. So, um, you know, there's things in your control and out of your control. But uh, our intention is to get a vehicle on the pad and away this year. And um, if not, it'll be shortly there afterwards. You mentioned SpaceX. Uh, uh, you know, there was a lot of controversy, of course, involving Elon and President uh, Trump not long ago. Uh, there was some thought that uh, Rocket Labs would make gains because of it. Have you seen some gains at their expense? Well, it's really hard to tell. I mean, uh, look, I mean, we, we really just focus on, on execution and, um, uh, and the, you know, if we, if we do our job right there, then, uh, then, the, then the contracts seem to, seem to flow. All right. We'll talk, I want to talk about that. We're going to bring up a table because you have laid it out and you kind of alluded to it already with respect to having a vision, uh, you know, having disciplined execution, the success rate and the growth pace. The growth pace, I think, yep. is what really has shocked a lot of people. It's, I mean, this is a huge curve here. Uh, it would look like a rocket taking off. Can you keep up this pace? Yeah, we're not here to mess around, Charles. We're here to get stuff done. So, um, you know, we're, we're, we're looking forward to continue that growth. And, you know, the Neutron product is an important part of it. But, man, we've got so much going on in our space systems and other divisions. We just acquired another, another company and, uh, you know, just keep on growing. What do you say uh, to, to, to your fans out there? You have so many people. We post, I posted earlier, you're going to be on the show. People love you. Again, I, I'm going to tell you right now, I, I bought your stock in my own account at six something. I sold it a couple of weeks ago at 54, 700 bagger, right? I mean, 700% move. I wanted to buy it under 40, it just won't go down. So you've made people a lot of money, <laughs> but there's something else endearing about you and your company. Maybe it's because it's a small name going against the big boys, but what do you say to your fans out there who really truly love you and believe in your company? Well, a huge thanks. I mean, like it's always a big team and, uh, you know, right from the team at Rocket Lab to all of the shareholders, uh, and it's a huge thanks to everybody and, um, you know, I hope, hope we make everybody proud. Yeah, I'm sure you will. Peter, keep it going and uh, let's get together in that Neutron launch. Thanks, Charles. You shouldn't have sold your stock, though. <laughs> I'm going to buy it back. I'm going to buy it back. I'm, I'm, if it gets low enough. Thanks, man. <laughs> yeah,